biggest rewards uh, for me is uh, ha seeing our kids develop into young men. Uh, often when you see their maturity level and where they're at, uh, often fabulous athletes when they come out of high school, uh, but seeing them develop over their course of their careers into two young men, uh, responsible young men, and, uh, and when they graduate, uh, they're much different people than when they came in. Sports a, a little microcosm of life. Uh, it really is. You have uh, all the trials and tribulations. You have the successes, the failures. Uh, you have the physical hardships. Uh, uh, you have the satisfaction of, uh, of when you succeed and the lows of when you when you don't succeed and uh, you, you know it, it's you, it's not life but it is it's a small mini version of it that can help prepare you for things later in life for sure brian Taurus has a record of 165 wins 93 losses and two ties during the regular season plus 29 wins and 21 losses in the playoffs during his 30-year career as head coach of the university of saskatchewan huskies football team he led the Huskies to their first Vanier Cup championship in 1990 and followed with victories in 1996 and 97. Among his accolades, Brian Taurus is the all-time winningest coach in CIS history. Uh, any of the national championships, any of those three uh, uh, were obviously highlights, but uh, there's been some more. Uh, I, I think some of the best and most rewarding games uh, were the playoff victories at home. You know, the national semifinals where people are packed around Griffith Stadium and uh, the atmosphere was just unbelievable all those days and uh, everybody was enjoying themselves and having fun. And, uh, you know, even another one that we lost was uh, was the atmosphere in, uh, you know, in 2006 when we hosted the Vanier Cup here and, and lost a heartbreaker to Laval. But uh, uh, I just remember the feelings that day getting ready to play that game at home and uh, uh, that will stick with me forever.